Hi, I'm David Massey, the author of the Worldwide Calculus series of textbooks. I'm frequently asked why I bothered writing a series of calculus books. There are thousands, well, at least hundreds of calculus books out there that are available. What's the point of writing more? Well, I had a, I had a number of goals in mind when I wrote the, the textbooks. Um, first, I, I just wanted to write the best possible calculus textbooks. So I wanted to address two particular problems that I see in many, many calculus books. One problem is <laughs> that they're hard to read. Students frequently complain that their calculus textbooks are hard to read. And so I tried to write the expository part of the book, so the paragraphs in between the formulas and statements of theorems. Um, I tried to write the exposition in a very down-to-earth, friendly, chatty way, the way I would speak it in class. It's true it makes the textbook a little wordy, but hopefully the words are easier to read and more fun to read and will will make the whole process of looking at the textbook more enjoyable for the student. The second problem um, sounds like it's uh, completely the opposite of the first problem. Most textbooks, or many textbooks on the market today, are very imprecise considering that they're math books. Uh, the definitions are fuzzy, the theorems don't have the, the correct hypotheses in them or the right technical hypotheses. And so I wanted to write a textbook that was both more chatty in the exposition, so more informal in the exposition, but more careful and more rigorous in the actual mathematics so that the definitions are very careful and the, the statements of theorems are very precise and the proofs are in the textbooks. Um, well, um, but I, to avoid making the, the sections too cumbersome to read, many of the technical proofs are moved to the technical matters appendices at the ends of chapters. And in the multivariable textbook, so many results in multivariable calculus are so difficult to prove that many of the proofs there, for the, many of the proofs there, I refer to external sources, external references. But still, my goal in writing the textbooks my goals were to make them more readable and to have more careful, better mathematics in them because that also improves students' understanding because they don't wonder, well, what does that definition mean? It's very careful. It's very clear. It may take a little more thought at the beginning to absorb it, but there shouldn't be any ambiguities. But then there are the goals in, in producing the textbooks as as PDFs. Why do that? That's probably the most eye-catching feature of the textbooks. And there are, a bunch of, there are a bunch of goals in producing them as PDFs as well. There's the first, probably most obvious one is because most of our, well, because our textbooks are available as PDFs, we can make them extremely low cost. Um, we don't have any printing cost, although we do offer low cost black and white printed versions we highly recommend the PDFs. The PDFs are, are color, um, the cost is very low. The PDFs are more portable <laughs> than a normal textbook. I mean, you can put the PDF on your laptop computer, on a tablet computer, so an iPad, an Android device. You can have it on a, a cellular phone. You can have our textbooks on cellular phones. They're PDFs. They're as portable as PDFs are portable. So that's nice. But, and PDFs are also far more functional than your standard printed textbook. They are, they are hyper, they're fully hyperlinked, so the index, the table of contents, you click on an entry and you go whipping to the right place. Um, they're cross-referenced, they're hyperlinks to the cross-references. If, if I refer to something like, oh, recall example 1.2.7, you can click on example 1.2.7, go back to that, and then go back to where you were when you were reading. Um, very functional. Also at the beginning of each section, uh, the beginning of each section in the textbooks, there's a link to a full-length video of me on YouTube giving a lecture on that section of the book, just as though you were in the classroom. Um, so that's nice and has meant that that link to the, the videos or the existence of the videos um, could be used in several ways, but two of those ways is 
One, you could use the videos as supplemental lectures to your in-class lectures, but you could also use the videos as the basis for a flipped or inverted course in which, in which you assign watching the lecture videos as homework, and in class, you just spend time working on what traditionally would have been homework exercises. So um, that's nice. Um, in the future, PDFs are only going to become more versatile and have more interactivity. And we hope to be able to, to include animations and collapsible fields as those features become more available in PDF uh, viewers. But um, even now, we think the PDF products are pretty awesome and we're pretty happy with how they turned out. Um, so uh, those, are, those are the reasons I wrote these, these PDF textbooks, both to make the content better and to make the delivery format much more better, much more better, that was great English, much better and, and to have more functionality than your standard printed textbook. I hope you enjoy the textbooks and I hope you agree that all of these things are improvements.